Hi old folks, this is Max from um, RootGalaxyNote.com. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy Note 10.1 um, using Clockwork Mod Recovery method. Um, I was able to compile a Clockwork Mod Recovery for the Note 10.1 and uh, it is the world's first Clockwork Mod Recovery by the way for the 10.1. Anyway, um, anyway, what you, what you want to do is basically uh, copy over this file first. So Go ahead and connect it as a disk drive, um, as a media device, and let's copy over this file real quick. Let's go to our computer. Next, what you want to do is download this file called rootgalaxynote10.1.zip. If you unzip it, you'll find a folder with four files, Odin, high on Android, CWM, blah, blah, and also CWM Super SU. Now, first, let's before we do anything, let's copy over this file, CWM, blah, blah.zip. This is the rooting file, actually, um, so copy it into your GTN 8000 uh, and uh, you can copy it to your SD card or phone it doesn't matter you can use both and uh, go ahead and right click and paste and I actually um, no that's not it I actually copied the wrong file there um, now you should have CWM Super SU just like right there baby right there you got it there you don't have to copy this other file I, just, I was just made a mistake while I was making a video um, so once you've got that done you can um, go back to your tap uh, note 10.1 sorry next what you want to do um, you can uh, basically hold down the power the power and the volume down these two buttons got it so I'm gonna hold down power and the volume down volume down is the one close to your power button alright and hold it down and wait until you get warning screen let go of the buttons and then hit volume up which is the one away from the power button to the right and it should say downloading right there go ahead and um, you can leave the connection to your computer and let's go back to our computer next go back to the folder um, where you have all those files and uh, go ahead and double click on Odin v onea alright and say yes if it asks you for permission um, you'll get the screen, don't worry about it. Um, you can also use the uh, newer Odin version, but it doesn't matter. I like the old version, so it works. Don't break what ain't broke. That's my motto. Anyway, you should get this, uh, if you have the correct drivers installed, um, if you have like other, if you've used other Galaxy S2s or other Samsung phones and um, you've rooted your phone, you should have drivers installed. But if you don't get this yellow highlight, go ahead uh, and download the Samsung USB drivers. I'll have links below. It's an exe file. You can run it. It will install the drivers for you. And after it installs, simply unplug plug it and plug it back in. And you should get this yellow com sign. And also make sure Samsung Keys is turned off. Uh, make sure the program is running. It can interfere with um, this. And also, when connecting to your computer, um, I suggest, uh, you know, if you have trouble, you can try another USB port and also try connecting directly to your computer instead of using a USB hub if you're using a USB hub. And next, simp don't touch anything else, simply hit PDA and go find the folder where you have all the files and you, you should be able to select high on Android CWM recovery GTN 8000. Uh, it might say .tar or, or it might just say um, just the first part, depending on whether if you, um, if you left uh, the hidden extensions on, on your Windows computer. Anyway, click there, OK. And uh, you should you should be ready to go. Simply hit start, and this will install the custom Clockwork Mod Recovery um, that I compiled today, and uh, it will allow you to flash super user zip. So hit start, and you'll see the bar going, and uh, your tab 10.1, or sorry, note 10.1 will reboot. All right, and let's go back to our tab. No, note 10.1. Sorry. I'm getting confused. Next, um, you can use ROM Manager fl to flash it. I'll show you actually two ways. Um, the first way is the sure root method. We'll try the ROM Manager method later. Um, so let's boot into our new high on Android Clockwork Mod Recovery that I've compiled. Um, hold down power and the volume up. Volume up is the button away from the power button. Hold it down, and uh, when your screen goes off and resets, when you see the logo, let go of the power button, but keep holding down down volume up, and you'll enter into Clockwork Mod Recovery there, and check it out. I 
I put that there. That's kind of cool, right? Anyway, um, this one you can use touch, but touch gets a little bit iffy. Um, if you have to scroll, I suggest using the buttons, even though it works kind of with the big screen, it's not working. And also, I'll fix this later so it's a little bit smaller, but um, I got it working, so it's all good. Anyway, go to install zip from SD card and uh, choose it from SD card if it if you copy those files um, in the beginning of the video to your internal storage um, or external storage it doesn't matter I copied it to my internal storage so I'm gonna do choose it from SD card and here we can scroll all the way down um, to the file there you go the CWM blah blah dot zip we copied over earlier hit the power button to select and go ahead and um, go scroll down or scroll up to yes and you should get all that it's done and your note 10.1 has been rooted and go back in the uh, reboot system now and you should be all rooted and good to go and now again um, if you want to get OTA updates this root method um, well, will not. Well, it might be. It, it might allow you to because the Clockwork Mod Recovery might allow you to. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. Um, but you can always flash the stock recovery back using Odin. I'll have. I'll include the stock. Actually, the stock image also in um, in the files here. Um, you'll see it as stock re uh, recovery dot tar. You can flash that instead to get stock recovery back on there. Um, to get OTA updates. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. And also this method does increase uh, binary count, um, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, but also Chainfire, developer of um, Triangle Away app, he'll be making it um, so you can reset that soon. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. And also most of the time when you return um, your devices for warranty, they don't check for the count, um, unfortunately, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, but this method, this root method is uh, a lot easier than downloading the one the one gigabyte uh, ROM, stock ROM file with root injected. Sorry, my... What's wrong with you? Oh, okay. She saw a ghost. Anyway, um, let's go check if we have root here. Super SU, go ahead and run it and uh, hit continue. Installation success. Um, you should be all good to go. And you can run apps like uh, ROM Manager and see if you have root. Um, here we go. And, uh, ooh, where'd I go? Uh oh. No, you, you can't use ROM Manager, sorry, until um, the developer of ROM Manager, I think his name is Couch. He actually um, puts it into ROM Manager, but um, there we go. So you should be all rooted. You can run uh, rooted apps like Titanium Backup, and boom, you should have root now. And uh, also, you can install new ROMs now. You can go use those buttons, and I'll also have another video showing you how to do that. Um, install, backup, restore ROMs, the simple functions. And um, also, I'll have another guide using Linux or Mac for Linux or Mac users. Very easy, you just have to um, extract the recovery image and flash it using Heimdall to the recovery partition. But anyway, that was how to, another way of rooting your Galaxy Note 10.1, um, Galaxy Note 10.1, sorry, I'm, I have Tab 10.1 and it confuses me all the time too. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video and uh, um, if you have a Galaxy Note 10.1 or any of the Galaxy Notes, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And uh, it's also a great way for you to get in contact with me via email if you have trouble with your tablet device or phone. And uh, please share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Uh, see you all later.